Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey Lindmar, it's Friday, May 10th of 2019. National Clean Up Your Room Day. Here's what's going on today across the campus. Our top story, the AP Physics 2 Algebra Based Exam is today at noon at Knights of Columbus Hall. You must be there by 11.30. Monday morning is the AP Biology Exam. You must be at Knights of Columbus Hall at 7.15. Monday at noon is the AP Physics C Mechanics Exam at Knights of Columbus Hall. You must be there by 11.30. And Monday at 2 is the AP Physics C Electricity Exam at 2. Arrive by 1.45 at the Knights of Columbus Hall. If you have any questions, stop by the TAG office, room J202. But first, it's time for a break. LMTV's Kale Squared are here with the LMTV Weekend Report. Guys? The big event on campus is prom. Green Photography will be here to take pictures tomorrow from 4 to 6.30 and 7 to 9.30. Grand March starts at 7.30 in the auditorium. Tickets to watch Grand March are $3 each and are available at the door. Prom itself is from 8 to 11 in the main gym. Post-prom is from 11.30 to 4 at the Cedar Rapids Ice Arena. More than $15,000 worth of prizes will be given away. It's totally free for all Linmar juniors and seniors, even if you don't go to prom. Remember, for prom and post-prom, you must bring your student ID. Also this weekend, the Green Bandana Project and Iowa Big host their wagon walk tonight from 5 to 7 at Cherry Hill Park. Admission is only $10. The Varsity and JV One Boys Soccer host Jeff at our stadium at 6, 5 15 with a special event to honor former teammate J.C. Payne. Varsity Baseball has a scrimmage at 5.30 at Oak Ridge. And the Soda Volleyball Tournament is at 7 at Volleys. We've got three new movies to tell you about. The Hustle. Female scam artists, one low rent and the other high class, team up to take down the dirty, rotten men who have wronged them. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. The story begins when Ace Detective Harry Goodman goes mysteriously missing, prompting his son to find out what happened. Aiding in the investigation is Detective Pikachu. Poms. A group of women form a cheerleading squad at their retirement community, proving that you're never too old to bring it. That's your weekend? Make it a safe one, Linmar. Ariana, back to you. Thanks, KL Squared. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. <laughs> This is Michael. Today he's going to hit his girlfriend so hard she ends up with permanent brain damage. Three dead in this vehicle. The girl is critical. They say the guy without the seatbelt did the damage. No seatbelt, no excuse. Welcome back. A reminder to those students who are taking classes at Kirkwood this semester. All your Kirkwood class materials and textbooks are due to the 11-12 office today. And that's a look at our top news stories at this hour. Today in Linmar Sports, the state qualifying meet for track that was supposed to happen yesterday is scheduled for this afternoon at 4 in Dubuque. Team dismissed at 1.20. Varsity and JV1 girls soccer face Jeff at Lower Kingston. At 4.15, team dismissed at 2.25. At 4.30, JV2 girls soccer or tennis hosts wash on the LRC courts. At 5, JV2 girls and boys black soccer travel to North Scott, team dismissed at 2.25. On this scoreboard, boys tennis beat Western Dubuque 7-2-2. Girls golf at the Prairie Invitational, our girls came in first out of the 10 teams. In other sports news, as we mentioned earlier, at tonight's JV1 and varsity soccer games at the stadium, they will plan to honor a former teammate, J.C. Payne. The team will have a moment of silence in memory of J.C. Please join them along with J.C.'s family as, they, as the team remembers and plays for J.C. Again, that's tonight at the stadium. That's sports. Ariana, back to you. Thanks, Aiden. 
In news from the counselors, seniors, now is your chance to sign up for Senior Volunteer Day. Go to the LM College Career Center. I mean, go to L at LM College Career on Twitter. Remember, you can only sign up yourself, not anyone else. Now here's Tatum with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Ariana. On the Arts and Club scene, the Science Club will hold its last meeting of the year Tuesday after school in Miss Azelborn's room, G149. They will have free ice cream. Attention all Linmar artists. Mr. Tilge's room is exploding with artwork that needs to be picked up and taken home. Please do your part and pick up your art. Also from the art world, the art department would like to invite all students, staff, and families to the spring art show closing reception Tuesday night. It gets underway at 5.30 in the Pride Rock Commons. If you want to try out for Linmar Show Choir, you can sign up right outside the high school choir room. Talk to Mr. Bugglewitz if you have any questions. And that's the Arts and Clubs. Ariana, back to you. Thanks, Tatum. Hey, Aiden, what's for lunch? Thanks, Ariana. Uh, for lunch downstairs, it's the walking taco or the hamburger bar. Upstairs in the food court, it's the pepperoni cheese bread. That's lunch. Ariana, back to you. Thanks, Aiden. Now, weathercaster Audrey is here with the all-important prom forecast. Thanks, Ariana. Today's looking great and tomorrow's looking good for prom, but we might see some showers towards the end of post-prom. So, who knows? Maybe the hypnotist can do something about that. Specifically, we're looking at sunshine today with a high of 62, which will be great for the wagon walk this afternoon. And more sunshine for prom tomorrow with a high of 63 degrees. Then the rain moves in early Sunday morning, but the sun should be back later in the day for Mother's Day. That's your prom weekend forecast. Ariana, back to you. Thanks, Audrey. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. <laughs> Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thank you for watching. Join us again Monday and make it a great day, Linmar.